joker here. Okay, so today is Sunday, October 20th. It's about uh, close to one o'clock p.m. here in Ohio. And silver sits right now at just below $34 an ounce. Actually, it's $33.78 according to Kitco. Now that's significant. Uh, so I wanna to talk to you guys about the psychological barrier for physical silver. And I think that's relevant right now. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos as I always do, I'm reading a lot of the comments. And so I think um, I just wanna share this with a lot of the viewers, a lot of the people who frequent the YouTube Silverstein community for information. Now I've talked about this before, me and Silver 5150, when we were doing our joint podcast, we talked about this a little bit and I think it's relevant now because of the price action of physical silver. So I'll be brief here. Silver is very, very, very sensitive to people's belief about where their finances are going, what their dollar is gonna be able to buy them in the future. And sometimes that's a positive thing, Sometimes, like now, it's not so positive. People are a little more worried about the economy. And you'd have to be living under a rock to not feel some of the same anxiety about where this country is headed. Uh, it's not a political channel, so I'm not going to get into the details of that. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so people are a little bit nervous about the direction of our economy. So I think that's why you're seeing physical silver move the way it's moving. Now, I've been stacking physical silver for quite some time. I made my first YouTube stacking silver video about seven years ago, but I was stacking silver before that. And so I've been doing this for quite a while. You guys watch my channel, you know I go and talk to a lot of people who've been doing it a lot longer than I have, people who buy, who sell physical silver. So I have a few things I can add to this conversation that's surrounding the price of physical silver right now okay so what is the psychological barrier for silver okay well put plainly it is a valuation way spot price that physical silver reaches maintains for a significant amount of time and then whatever happens the price action doesn't fall too far below that okay so for example today right now what we're seeing Silver has been right around $30 an ounce for quite a while. Now it has dipped a little bit below that, but not much below that, but it goes right back to that $30 valuation very quickly. So that would be an example of a psychological barrier being reached. In other words, it has passed the $25 an ounce mark and gone into the 30 to $35 an ounce mark, and it's maintaining that. So no matter what happens with people's psychological belief of physical silver, it has maintained that value long enough to where it will hold that value. In other words, people will see the value of physical silver beyond the $25 mark. So if a, a bullion dealer sets a price for his physical silver, then people won't be as reluctant to pay that price above the $30 mark so that's an example of a psychological barrier being reached and gone beyond so i think we're there with silver in the 30 dollar range so it's not out of the question for a person to go into a coin store or go online and pay more than 30 dollars an ounce for physical silver and i think we'll just continue to go up from there but i want to caution you and i don't want to pull <laughs> i don't want to pull into the energy out of the enthusiasm of physical silver right now because I'm as excited about it as many of you are. I like where silver's going. I like the prospects of it, but keep in mind, silver is volatile. <laughs> so that's where we are. And I think right now, the worry that people have about their financial health, silver's benefiting from that worry. But I think that this $33, almost $34 an ounce, may rise and we may even see $35 an ounce or maybe even beyond that and maybe silver will fall back but I think that we have reached that psychological barrier and went beyond that for $30 spot price for silver I think we are there I know we've been here and beyond $30 an ounce in the past but we haven't maintained it for any real length of time but I think this $30 
silver rings that we're in right now, I think that's here to stay at least for some time and maybe even higher. And so you can't take advantage of wherever silver goes unless you have it in your stack, unless you have it in your possession that you can access when you feel like it. Physical silver is what it is. It doesn't promise you riches. It doesn't promise you wealth. It only promises you value. You put your fiat currency into physical silver, you're gonna have value. No matter what, you're gonna have value. You, there's not a whole lot of things that can promise that, but silver has kept that promise when that promise was first made way back when. If you bought silver five years ago, you can sell some of your silver today and be well above what you paid for. No question, but if you didn't buy it five years ago, you can't take advantage of that price action. It's as simple as that. So when you buy physical silver, buy it for the long haul. Now we know as a physical silver stacker for as long as I've been stacking and many others, we know that silver is gonna go up. Absolutely gonna go up. You know, it has reached $40 an ounce. We've seen it, as it maintained it, but it has reached that. Now it's in the $30 an ounce range. And so that means we're not uncomfortable paying $30 plus per ounce of silver because we believe that that value is only going to be greater in the future. And so I just wanted to come on and say that. I've been reading a lot of the comments and I think that I needed to come on and say that. I'm going to make more videos in the future. I can't give you guys a date when, I just don't want to be boring. And so I've been trying to come up with some ideas, something new that will pique your interest. You know, I had some ideas, they didn't go over too well with you guys, so I haven't given up on it. I'm still the Silver Joker, we still got the Silver Joker channel, and we're gonna be doing some things, but I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna be, so stay tuned. I got some ideas, I'm not gonna share them right now. <laughs> don't wanna be scooped. Anyway, stacking physical silver is not for everyone. I know when silver starts to reach these valuations and it looks like it's gonna go up, everybody flocks to physical silver to buy it because they think it's gonna continue to its rise and it very well may do that. But you have to be gut level honest about what you can afford, how much you can put into physical silver. Because if you, if you can't buy physical silver and put it away and forget about it, then it's not for you. You can't treat physical silver like an ATM or a checking account. Because if you're buying physical silver today only to sell it tomorrow, Chances are you're going to lose what you're putting into it. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. I don't want this video to go too long. Just wanted to come on and say that, you know, I'm going to post some more videos. So please stay tuned. Please stay subscribed. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep the silver train rolling. I mean, it hasn't stopped. Still stacking silver as always. Still gaining as much information as I can about my physical silver assets. And so I'm going to share that with you guys as we go forward. Uh, just maybe not on a regular basis. Anyway, I feel like I'm just, you know, groaning on now. So we're going to end this with this. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.